hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel how you doing hope you're good hope you're fine hope you're staying safe well gradually things are going back to normal life is returning back to how we knew it though in entirety everything is not going to be back to normal but then we are grateful for how things are and the fact that many people are still fine, many people are alive and healthy and well. So tell me, do you like my hair? <laughs> so if you remember in one of my recent videos, I mentioned about my alopecia journey and the fact that it was because of my alopecia issue. That was why I started my YouTube channel. That was sometime in 2015 and then I started sleeping on top of the channel. But the video I did sometime in 2015, has about 28,000 views till date. People are still looking at it. The video was on how I grew back my hair after dealing with alopecia areata. So I decided to do an update video on how my hair has been faring since I stopped dealing with alopecia. So as you can see, this is my hair. I know, right? My hair looks small because I'm sure you'll be asking yourself since 2015, 2016 till now, is this all your hair can offer? The truth is, after the alopecia journey and realizing that my hair was going back, my hair was growing back to normal, I didn't want to grow my hair again. But because of family and the fact that they felt I had alopecia because I was on low cut at the time, during my uni days, I cut my hair. So my mom was not happy with it. And she was always like, why are, you, why are you cutting your hair? Hair is the beauty of a woman and all of that story then alopecia happened so to them it was because i was cutting my hair that was why i was dealing with the alopecia thing then i had to scrape my hair all over again i'm going to attach some of the pictures here if i still have access because i don't know where all those pictures are now but i'll search for the pictures and i'll attach it somewhere here and so when i started the onion treatment trying to grow my hair back and it was working but i didn't want to grow my hair like for me to start making my hair but my mom and everyone at home, they already pressure it. Don't cut this hair again. Keep your hair. Grow your hair. You are the one that caused this alopecia did in the first place because you cut your hair. So now, don't cut your hair. So that pressure was what I was dealing with sometime between that 2016, 2017. So what I decided to be doing was, as my hair is growing, I'm cutting I'm trimming it. Let me say that. As my hair is growing out, I'm trimming it. So it will be easier for me to manage without having to go and braid it or fix on it or do anything on it. Yeah, I was that unserious. So that was what I did for almost a year or there about probably till 2018 before I started seriously considering making my hair. And my go-to hair was always twist out. See, the truth is I don't like making hair. It's that simple. I just don't like making hair. It stresses me a lot. It stresses me thinking about making my hair. You know how generally we ladies, we carry the hair for like three weeks, four weeks or six weeks before you lose. And then I make a particular hair and I'm on it for three weeks. And then when you know that, okay, I'm going to be losing this hair by next week. I'll start thinking, what am I going to do next? What am I going to not do? Think of weave on. I'll be like, oh no, I'm not comfortable on weave ons. I'll think of braids. I'll be like, ah. the hours to sit down to make it. And then all those so many little, little excuses. And really, I was never a fan of making hair. So I'm always like... So that was why I kept trimming my hair for years. Till eventually, sometime 2018, I had to like start making my hair seriously. So for people that have been wondering, people that have been sending me messages that did the onion treatment work, did it work, did it not work, what and what have you been using, how is your hair growing right now? Well, this is my hair in all its glory. <laughs> this is my hair after the whole alopecia journey. I decided to leave it this way so that I can easily scatter it and do whatever I want in this video because I'm talking about my hair in this video. So I want it to be easy for me to touch it, to scatter it as much as I want. Then whenever I have to make it, I'll go and make it. Oh, Thinking of the fact that I have to make my hair again. Well, apart from dreads, is there any other hairstyle? I don't know. 
Okay, so I'm going to just give a run through of what has been happening with my hair since 2015, 2016 when I was dealing with the alopecia areata. This is not like a hair wash tutorial or whatnot. I just want to like talk about my hair and the journey so far. After I started with the onion treatment around that time and I kept at it religiously, most of that period I was not doing much, I was not working seriously so I had time on my hands so I was make I was doing the onion treatment almost every night I get a bulb of onion, I blend it, I squeeze out the juice I apply it all over my hair, massage it thoroughly cover my hair with the hair bonnets and then sleep that way till the next morning then I wash it off with black soap I'm not going to go in depth about the whole process of trying the onion treatment. I'll link up my video. The video I did back then, I'm going to link it up somewhere for you to have a look and see the process and how it works for me. So after washing, I just oil it with coconut oil or any other oil that I had available at, the, at home. And then I go about my business. Gradually, that's how my hair grew out in no time. In less than two weeks, hair strands were already out. In a month and two and like that, I had my hair back fully. The alopecia started somewhere here. But now, the hair is all covered, so I can't turn it somewhere here. I don't know if you can see it, but it started somewhere here. But where I'm now, I have hair everywhere. So it was very smooth and it was expanding gradually. But everything is all covered up now. My hair is all grown. My hair is smooth. I can pack it any way I like now. So my hair is all grown out. And when I don't feel like making it, I usually use this hair strand to just tie it up. And then carry it to whenever I decide to make my hair. Yes, typically this is how I pack my hair when I'm not in a hurry to make it. The truth is I'm not the best person to go to for hairstyles. I just do what's convenient for me at the time. But I know that I try as much as possible to ensure that my hair is clean, my hair is break free, and that my hair is generally in a good condition. But then this hair has chopped my money. I've done so much for this hair to grow. I'm someone you can is you can refer to as a lazy naturalista. But I just ensure that my hair is in good condition. So yes, so far this is my hair. This is what my hair looks like now after almost five years of dealing with alopecia. So easily I can say that my hair is fine. My hair is good. My hair is doing well. My hair is doing fine. And I'm very, very happy, really. The period I was dealing with alopecia was a trying moment for me because I just finished from the university and all of a sudden my hair was going gradually so it was it was a tough time but at the same time it gave me an opportunity to be able to help others between then and now at least directly i've helped nothing less than 50 people deal with their alopecia issues and then not talk about the numbers from youtube who consistently they keep sending me messages about the hair journey and what to do and if actually what i used can work for them too and the feedbacks have been amazing. So at least that gives me joy that I was able to help others through my video and through the fact that I shared my story on this platform. So yes, this is the simple and brief update on my hair journey, on my alopecia journey. Every now and then I'm still going to share hair tutorials, very basic hair tutorials that I do and how I manage to take care of my hair, especially for those who are dealing with alopecia. I feel for this journey, sometimes people tend to spend so much money because they don't know what to do but then when they come across somebody who has gone through the same thing that they are going through it helps them to be aware that there are actually other options that they can use to get what they are looking for and to get solutions to the problem so i'm really happy when people reach out to me concerning their alopecia journey and then i tell them exactly what i did and it works out for them it, it's such a good feeling honestly so yes, that's that about that. That's that about my hair. From this, 
in 2015 to this in 2020 well apart from the many many times we cut the hair i think it's a good journey so far so thank you to everyone who has reached out concerning my hair and thank you to all the people who watched my video and really it was um, helpful to them you guys you made me happy you made me feel that i did something worthwhile and if you're seeing me on your screen for the first time please do not forget to hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for sticking around and please drag your friends to my channel as well i need more subscribers more watch hours and we need to hit monetization so thank you for watching i'll see you in my next one bye